So Manchester United find themselves in an identical position that Manchester City found themselves in, starting the second half of the home leg, just one goal to the good. United attacking the goal to our left. One goal wasn't enough for City. I think if you took a consensus of opinion around the crowd, the feeling would be that it wouldn't be enough for United either. This is a good side, this Juventus team. And United need more goals. Here's Sam McElroy. And the first foul of the half by Gentile. Gives the impression that uh, McElroy made more of that than there was. But McElroy again with the ball. And the referee called that one evens. United, the sixth English side that uh, the Juventus have met in Europe. Here's Pearson. Nicol. Two men in the way of McElroy. Benetti. Bettiger. Of the previous five, Juventus lost to Liverpool, Wolves and Leeds, beat Manchester City and Derby County in the semi-final of the European Cup. Hill back to Mark Kukuredu, who gave him a tap on the left cheek. There they are together. Jerry Daly. Oh, Barbon Insegna withdrawn. Here's Nickel. Pearson and Marini. He's got him running this time. And he didn't quite get the height on the cross. Urea covering his centre half. Bettiger. Good challenge by Nickel. Hill. Kukuredu played across Hill first. Daly. McElroy. Three in the middle for United. There's Gordon Hill. Oh, look at that, the daggers. Look what he did, Gav, by the thought, or something like that. And the free kick has been given. Really, the expressions captured. You don't need telling that Cucuredo is an Italian, nor do you need telling that Gordon Hill comes from London. And this man is Boninsegna, who looks to be arguing the case a bit long. That was straight out of the old Covent Garden, that confrontation. Soft checking the cover to his right. Ten is Makari. Houston might have a dip. Well, it's not surprising that Houston's shot brought a few comments from Zoff. He was behind the wall and it went past that post with the goalkeeper's weight on the wrong foot. Got to watch things like this. It's Calcio and Alberston. And the youngster getting in a very important pass. They had two defenders square of each other and Calcio in the middle. Good enough. And grounded by Zoff. Benetti. Furino. Both former internationals in midfield for Italy. Tardelli. Bettiger. Boninsegna. Good try. And Stepney just there would have killed the bounce, which he watched with great caution. Houston. It's a long time since a player has got to the byline and pulled it back from there. <laughs> Juventus.
his ball. Calzio, one of the survivors of the European Cup final side. Hill. There's a gap there to his right. He didn't want to go that way. Nobody really moving for him. Quite the running off the ball look one is used to seeing from United. That will be a corner. No, it's not. It's a goal kick. And the protest was because um, Calcio just nipped on the pitch for a swig of a bottle. Houston. Pearson looking to see where Marini was. He's got a free kick. Fifteen minutes left, and fifteen minutes in which United surely need this other goal. One goal is too flimsy a lead to take to Turin in a fortnight. It's Calcio, Gentile is up, and Benetti is up, and there are two other men coming behind, but Calcio is giving it away. Now is the chance, surely, for United to spring back. McElroy screaming for it far side. And taking on Shirea. Just turned away. Go kick. They sprung a bit then, United. McElroy coming inside Shirea. But his shot going wide. Goalkeeper didn't touch it. Oh, by Boninsegna. Back come United again. They've got 12 minutes left. And they're in need of some inspiration. And if anybody can give it to them, it's the man with the ball at the moment, Brian Greenock. He set up the winner against Ajax in the previous round. Nickel. goal could totally change the complexion of the tie here's McCarry Koppel trying to get a long way round good try, strange punch Got the catch safe the second time round that came at uh, Zoff so hard from Koppel just got his fist there and no more but at least trying to go around the outside, which is what Tommy Doherty said they would have to do. Calzio. Better get. Curry looking up to see what's on. And Marini, a judge to have jumped on Pearson. moving away to the left taking Marini with him he hasn't really managed to pull him out of the middle how can he get in beaten by Marini again and the header must have hurt it came right off where he got the cut previously and the strength would end a little less than generous Houston couldn't get there Here's Boninsegna. Benetti. Corino. Into the last minute. And Giovanni Trapattoni, the coach of Juventus, said he'd be quite happy to lose by the odd goal. And everybody from United I've spoken to said they needed more than one. Tardelli. Juventus is happy to push it around. 
It's Cucuredo. Boninsegna. Causio. Gentile. Brian Greenhoff. McCreary making a run ahead of him, number 15. That's John Scherer out to him. Topple obstructed. And the referee, with one quick look at his watch, brings the match to an end and leaves Manchester United with just one goal in the bag to take to Turin in a fortnight's time. They were not at their best. They got just the one goal, a moment of inspiration by Hill from a good move involving Nickel and Koppel. But they were not allowed to play in their usual style and will now have to give, surely, an inspired performance in the away leg if they are to stay in the competition.